Hi, this is Alvara from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to create another uh, um, layout. And it's a single page layout, and let me show you the stuff that I'm going to be using. Actually, before I show you what I'm going to be using, I'm going to show you the sketch. And this is a sketch. I got four pictures, and uh, I'm going to create it like in a um, block formation there. Four pictures there. And then I'm going to put some stars and some embellishments and things like that. So let me show you the material that I'm going to be using. I bought these Project Life cards, and they're perfect for journaling. You don't, I don't do Project Life, but I use these for um, my layouts, and I'm going to use one of these for my journaling. I got this card um, stock. It's color box, and I'm just going to use the cream color, and I'm using it to create my embellishments. I got this stamp, Simply Iconic, from HSN, and I want to use these stamps with my layout. It comes with a block and they still have it on HSM so if, let me show you what they have. This is one of them. Let me put it against a card stock. So they have this. I love this little plane, these stars. I love this. And then they have here a camera, a mustache, they're very in trend and um, Instagram or even a film camera. And I think I'm going to use some of that. This is another one of the stamps. And you can even stamp these inside here. Here's the other stamp. It's those Instamatics or Clickomatics um, that was um, when I was growing up. That's one of the things I used to use. And even has the little Clickomatic film right there. And here's the last one of these stamps with it has a cup of, of coffee. These these are the wrappers for around the coffee. And I really, really love these stamps. So all these stamps I there I purchased them at HSN. There were 17 with some change plus shipping and handling. So it's not too bad. So I'm gonna use this to you for my stamps. I'm probably gonna use this for some of my stamps. These are the papers that I'm going to use, and it's actually these Heidi Swap papers. Um, and it's the boy, it's more like, let's see the name of it. There's not really a name for these papers, but I got these at Michael's, and they still have them there. You get four, 54 sheets, and today everything is $10. So I buy these when they have it on sale. And I bought this when it was 50% off. And look how beautiful that is. I did show you a project before where I used these papers. But for those that may not have seen that tutorial, let me show you all the papers that comes in this paper pad. I really love that red. So I'm gonna I have a little leftover piece of that red, and that's what I'm gonna use for some of my layouts, or for my layers, I mean. And I'm going to use this one for my layer. And they have stars. It's perfect, perfect for um, boys' um, album. And that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a boy layout. Look at that. And I'm trying to stay away from the flowers this time because it is a boy layout. I love this paper and it's very good weight paper. It's not flimsy. So beautiful this. Okay. So I'm going to use that. I already got the papers that I'm going to be using. This is going to be, I'm going to try to use this. Last time I, I was planning to use this as my alphabet and I didn't. But this time I think I'm going to go ahead and use that for my title. This is some of the leftover papers that I have. These are my four photos that I'm going to scrap. This is the red cardstock that I'm going to use. And then these are the other papers that I'm going to be using for this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and start mounting everything together and hopefully you like this video process. So I started cutting out the strips and I'm just cutting it a little smaller because I'm going to frame this on a, my blue card 
cardstock you see there and then um and i put a, a background so that way you can see it a little better because it was getting lost against my um, black mat so i'm just cutting all the pieces down and I know I had a viewer ask me about that green cutter that I have there. It's actually a ceramic um, craft knife that I purchased some time ago at Michael's. And it's a it's from Cricut. So you get it where the Cricut cartridges are and their tools. And it was I purchased it because it was on sale. It was about eight bucks. And it's pretty nice. And you never need to change the blade on it. And it's always sharp. So I started using that a little more than my other craft knife. Now, one of the tricks that I do when I'm trying to make a block of pictures, I always um, tape them in the back. So that way they all become one unit. And it's easy for me to move them around on my layout to kind of get, get it everything how I want it. I thought I wanted this arrow strip on the bottom there, but then after, I, I just... Didn't look right, especially I had arrows going on the side. I just didn't want to repeat the arrows at the bottom. So I decided to take that out. And then these tags are actually part of some of the cut aparts from that paper pad. And um, usually what I do is I like to grab all those cut aparts and I cut them out. So that way I, I can start just using them on my page and I don't have to waste time on cutting them so I put them in a little ziplock and I just basically just have them ready and use them throughout my layout so now here I'm just using my stamp to create my embellishments and I'm gonna use our um, dial and the camera and that little tag and also I wanted to use that geotag too and it says we were here. Now, I wanted to put something underneath where to. It just looked plain. So I went ahead and put where to. And I put expand your view. And I'm using some um, embossing powder just to make it brighter. And make it a lot white, whiter. And usually, um, I have the Stampin' Up! white ink. But if I really wanted to really stand out, I always use my embossing white powder to kind of make it stand out. So here I'm just cutting all these little pieces out for my embellishments. I was trying to see if I had some kind of circle that will be big enough for that. And I cannot, I couldn't find a circle that was large enough to for that um, that roller dial. So I just cut it by hand. And here I'm using, I, I really like that viewfinder or that um, clickomatic or whatever it's called. So that's why I decided to just to use that and I'm cutting it out. And then I took my pencils, my color pencils, and I just wanted to give it a little more color to my camera. And the trick with color pencils is that you really need to really lightly color your um your item don't really put a lot of pressure and just go over it lightly over and over and it will it will take the color so i cut out my stars and now i'm ready to assemble everything together and just kind of figure out where i want all my pieces And I really like that star, and then I put that geo tag, I'm going to put it on where my photo is. Now I'm going to start outlining everything. So this is one of the tricks that I do. I take a, a, my Sharpie, and I go on the edges and create that outline. And, it, you know, it works better sometimes then if I really want a, a, a really dark outline it works a lot better than trying to use ink I like to use ink when I want to give a subtle shade but when I really want to make it stand out and I want my edges to stand out I use a sharp a, a magic marker you can also use that same technique with pictures and it works very nice like I'm doing here it really gives it a nice background and it, you don't even need a mat when you do that 
So I'm just going to use some of this aggressive adhesive so that way I make sure my pictures don't move. And just placing it down. And I'm just going to place it on. And notice that what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting everything together before I place that whole piece as one unit on my blue background. And I'll, sometimes I do that. I like to like create everything. Like if I have different layers, I, I create um, my embellishments, all my clusters on one layer. And then I place that whole piece as one unit on the background page. And it works pretty nice. I, I like doing that a lot. So there's my GL tag. I decided to put it more on the side than on the middle. And, I, and then I had a little star that I created some time ago. Um, and I decided to use that on top of the GL tag. I'm still trying to figure out what else to put. It just needed something on that area right there. And I found a little strip um, of saying, and I went ahead and put one arrow pointing to that saying, and then now I'm mounting everything on my background. So I'm almost done with the layout. I'm just writing in my journal, and uh, you know I'm I'm I don't really journal a lot. But I just needed to put a little bit there of what this is was from. And here's a closer look of my layout. So I hope you like this layout. It was very simple to create. And thank you for watching. Bye now.